Welcome, Leo. This message is for you for November 1st through the 15th. When I was focusing on your energy, I got the Queen of, um, not the Queen of Wands, or well, the Queen of Wands energy. Um, but I was actually seeing the Six of Wands. So I feel like whatever you're doing right now, you're going to be victorious in this situation. I feel like you're really focusing on your ambitions right now. And I feel like that's moving you ahead in your situation. Um, I feel like maybe you're, you're really focused on work. You're really focused on being victorious. Um, you're, people are noticing you, Leo. I'm feeling that really strongly. People are noticing you. Maybe you're really heavily in social media, um, but I, I think people are watching and they're seeing you as someone who is very victorious. Does that make sense? Okay, and your energies. You, know, you have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you have a lot of options right now. I feel like you are kind of looking through your options and making your decisions. And you have the moon as well. The moon is crossing you. So I, I feel like there are changes coming through. Um, there may be unseen obstacles as far as some of these options that you have. Uh, but I feel like overall you're going to overcome any options. And I feel like in the near past you have the Six of Swords. So you're definitely moving into calmer waters here. You're moving into something that's more stable in your situation. Yeah, your crowning energy is the Wheel of Fortune. So it's definitely change. But I feel like it's change change to your destiny, change to um, to a, a, a better outcome. So it's only getting better for you, I feel, Leo. At your foundations, you have the Four of Pentacles. So I think right now um, you're looking more for, for more stability. Um, maybe you need to kind of watch your spending at the moment, watch where your money is going. You also have the page of swords in your, uh, near future. So I feel like a message is coming up. All these cards are just blowing out now. Um, a message is going to come through for you. Something that's going to provide truth and honesty in the situation. Now, um, in your energy, you have the lovers. So this may be new love coming in. This may be long-lasting love coming in for you. Um, this also may be a choice that you're needing to make that is going to change your situation. Yeah, and you have the Ten of Wands. So people see you as carrying a lot. Uh, people see you as carrying a lot on your shoulders at the moment. Maybe you're taking a lot of responsibility. And in your hopes and fears, you have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you are really coming into your own. And in the back of your mind, you're kind of reluctant to make any changes. Uh, but you have this Wheel of Fortune at that's crowning you. So change is inevitable. Um, and I feel like this change is going to be something good coming through for you. Um, so don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back from the situation. And in your overall energy, you have the Empress. 
So yeah, I think this is a very exciting time for you, Leo. You are the Empress energy. You're very fruitful. You are um, really creating your abundance. You're, you may be working on work. Um, like I said, I, f I feel like you're very ambitious at the moment. I feel like you are really making decisions on what you need to do in your life. And I feel like those, the decisions that, that you make today are going to be very fruitful for you in the future. This is going to be something that you are, that is setting you up for the long term, I believe. Let's get some more clarity. You have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this, I, I feel like you are kind of delaying your actions, um, but karma's coming towards you. Uh, you have good karmic energy coming towards you, so these decisions won't be delayed for long. I feel like you are going to get exactly what you deserve in this situation. Um, if it's a legal issue, it's going to go in your favor. Um, but yeah, you have good karma coming in. And you also have the emperor in reverse. So I feel like um, you are kind of releasing the control of the situation into the universe and um, letting the universe decide on your situation. You have the queen of swords at the bottom as well. So I feel like um, truth and clarity is coming out in the situation this may be your energy or this may be someone else close to you um but i feel like the queen of swords she's going to tell you the truth about the situation she's going to uh, be very fair and honest with you i get some clarity here yeah okay the um to clarify the situation this is going to bring you a lot of contentment this is going to bring you more money in your life, I believe. You have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, you are, you're moving into smaller, into smoother waters. I, sorry about that. You are moving into smoother waters and this is going to bring you a lot of happiness and contentment, Leo. Um, Let's get a card for the Wheel of Fortune. What kind of change is coming through? What change in your destiny? The lovers in reverse. Okay, you have the lovers twice in this in this reading. So I believe that this is someone who's coming in that you kind of had second thoughts about, but I feel like this person wants to be in your life for the long term. This person wants to build something with you that is your Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to build a life with you. And with the Four of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is something that came in fast for you. I feel like it's something that just happened suddenly. And you also have the Four of Pentacles. So this is something that's going to bring you a lot more stability. This is something that, yeah, that they, they're really looking long term in this situation. With the lovers, you have the, the Eight of Pentacles. So this is something that's not going to take a lot of work. Um, this is something that's not going to take a lot of work for you to feel like it fits. This person just just came into your life and they, they just feel like they've always been there. And with the Ten of Wands, you have the Strength card. So yeah, they're actually coming in and they're building you up. Where you thought that you had to carry everything on your shoulders, 
this person is coming in and they're taking some of the weight off of your back. They are um, providing you with strength and stability. I think they've given you a lot of hope as well. I feel like this person is actually um, like your beacon of light. That's the words that are coming to me. They're, they're your beacon of light. They're your light at the end of the tunnel. And with the Eight of Swords, you have the Six of Cups. So I feel like someone, someone may be coming in from the past um, to try to put a stop to this situation, but you're not having it, Leo. I feel like um, with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups, you're not even seeing the situation anymore. This person that's coming in from the past, you're no longer giving them any kind of, um, you're not giving them any kind of attention. And I feel like they, they are kind of jealous of your situation right now because they see you with someone new. And with the Empress, we have the Page of Swords. Yeah, so the Page of Swords energy, this is bringing you a lot of curiosity. Um, this could also bring you a message that's going to be kind of out of the blue. It's going to spark new energies this could also be someone who's looking at you someone who's spying on you leo yeah you have the eight of cups okay so i feel like this is you walking into your contentment you're walking towards the mountains you're leaving behind something that no longer served you and you're walking you're moving forward and you have the nine of swords in reverse so yeah you're coming out of a situation you're coming out of a situation that left you very anxious and worried you have the queen of cups so this could be your energy this could be someone else's but i feel like it's a very nurturing energy Someone is actually building you up instead of, and, and I, f I feel like in the other situation, you also have the Ten of Wands at the bottom. So I, I feel like in a near past situation, there was times when you were really within yourself. Um, you were coming out of a disappointment you were feeling very anxious at a moment and now you're coming out of it and this this queen of cups here this queen of cups she's helping you out of the situation she's actually very nurturing and very caring and she is um or or he um the roles may be reversed it could be um masculine energy as well but um, i'm referring to it because of the card um i'm saying she because the way the card is depicted but and i feel like this is very nurturing energy this has helped you come out of your shell and have the ability to move forward as i said i feel like your ambitions your your ambitions are taking root at the moment and things are going to really come into fruition for you. But I, I'm definitely feeling love vibes here. This is, this is something that this person wants something long term with you, Leo. And you're coming out here in a very strong position. You have the strength card. That's the Leo card. You're coming out in a very strong position. You have opening to discovery yeah 
there's a, a door and a key. So I feel like new doors are going to be open for you. And that is number 34. Number 34 may be very important to you at the moment. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Let's try this again. And you have the time machine. So definitely Wheel of Fortune vibes going on there. And the land in between. So yeah, you have number three and number 40. So those numbers may be very important to you at the moment. Um, and the time machine and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. Of the Empress. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you have the, the time machine and the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, definitely, definitely new beginnings here. Um, and I feel like it's going to be something that's going to be definitely in your favor. This is going to be a change to your destiny. And I'm, I'm feeling that very strongly for you, Leo. Let's get some angel cards. What does the angels want to say to you at the moment? And I apologize, my voice is kind of going in and out right now. Um, what does the angels want to say to you right now? Okay. <clears throat> you have Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Yes, beautiful energy, Leo. And one more card. Okay, you have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So definitely, definitely that vibrant energy coming through for you. And you also have Oceana on the bottom. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself so yeah i believe that you have the answers leo um and you're moving towards your ambitions i feel like this is going to be a really good outcome this is going to be a very exciting time for you and i feel like you should trust your intuition trust your gut in the situation okay that's what i have for you leo um, if this message has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for full clarity of the situation. And many blessings to you, love and light.